I'll tell you one thing that's been consistent about WVU women's basketball since the first game of the season, you've been winning. How do you continue that now that you got Big 12 play? Well, we're playing a little bit better competition right now. Uh, you know, we, and again, I go back to being consistent, do what we do and, and continue and believe in what we do. And, uh, you know, we're going to win by defense. We're going to win by rebounding and, and we're going to win by, you know, we're scoring a little bit more points this year and we have in the past and hopefully we can continue to do that. Hit some shots, go inside out and uh, continue to uh, believe that we can win. How do you, we talked about that thin line between, you know, winning a game but playing lesser competition. Yeah. You don't want to lose, but you don't know that you want to win by 40 every time. Now that you know that those aren't coming again, how, how do you keep the girls confident but also say at the same time, look, we're not going to have those 40-point wins anymore? Well, I told them the other day, everybody needs to step it up now, second season, really. Uh, you know, I need to step it up. Uh, assistant coaches need to step it up. The players need to step it up because it's a new season. We're going to play against tough competition, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I know our players are also. So, you know, I'm excited about playing uh, some better competition. We need to, you know, win or lose. I said that after our last game. Win or lose, we need to start playing some better teams and, and, and be challenged more. And, and there's no doubt in my mind we're going to be challenged this two-game road trip. Some of your biggest wins last year were on the road, the Kansas, the Iowa State, the Oklahoma State. And obviously all, all these players were a part of that. Yeah. If they have a lot of confidence. You know, I think so. I think so. I think last year, you know, I said it several times, I thought we were more focused on the road than we were at home. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll continue to do that, but still be focused at home. But, I mean, hopefully, hopefully we'll continue to be focused on the road. And, you know, because we play a lot of people, we can keep some fresh people in there. And, uh, you know, looking at Kansas, you know, they play a lot of man, a lot of 2-3. And I was kind of surprised. They're, they're probably a little bit more athletic than we are at, at, at every position. So, uh, you know, we're going to get up and down. They get up and down the floor. Uh, you know, they go inside out a lot. And so it's going to be a big challenge. So much what they did last year, went through that point guard, and she graduated. But because they haven't changed all Well, that. they haven't changed a lot other than they're looking to go into the five a little bit more than the point guard. You know, the point guard last year did a lot of the scoring and they're five also, but the point guard looked to score a little bit more. Now, their point guard's looking to score and penetrate and that type of stuff just like they always did, but they're really playing a lot of four out, one in type stuff and, and trying to get some high low stuff and get it inside a little bit. Last, last year, you, you were without Bussy and it was a curse. I mean, that yeah. happened here, but in a way it worked out for you because you now have an experienced team with an experienced five that, that can dominate games. Yeah, absolutely. I've said it since Asia Bussey's been here. She's probably the best defensive center in the country. Now, with that being said, we don't want to get her in foul trouble. I told her yesterday, I said, now play position defense, but if they beat you, just let them go. We can't afford to get you in foul trouble early, you know, during the game. So, hopefully, and she's smart enough to do that. She's a veteran and she understands that. But, you know, I think we're going to be a lot better defensively in the post than what we were, yes. You talked about keeping them focused. What's the plan between these two games and how do you just make sure that, you know, they, they get done what they need to on the road? Yeah, well, we'll get there today and then we'll practice. And then tomorrow will be regular routine on a game day. And then after uh, tomorrow's game, then we'll head off to Oklahoma and uh, practice there. Um, the next day and that type of stuff. Probably take them to a movie or something mm -hmm. like that. But, and, and then watch a lot of film. We'll get them uh, you know, in film sessions and, and that type of stuff. Just try to keep them focused a little bit and keep them off their legs a little bit because you know you're only going to have that one day rest in between games. So we don't want to overdo it either.